Hey everyone, this is Scabcat242 and I have a massive video game haul to share with you. So this was from the last week and weekend and I was amazed by what I picked up. Uh, we got thrift store finds, I got a really good yard sale finds and uh, I'm not going to go too much in depth on some of these games but I'm going to share more of what I picked up at this one yard sale which was in my neighborhood. But I'm going to just kick start right away into the thrift stores and just get this out of the way. So. Last week, I um, went to one of my favorite thrift stores during my lunch break and just picked up a variety of games. So we're going to go with the stack right here. So for PS3, I got Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, for the Wii, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, uh, Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands, uh, Sims 2 Castaway, uh, Decca Sports. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Xbox 360, and this is the hardened edition. This is complete. Uh, Wii Sports Resort, unfortunately, this wrong game in there, but that's okay. Uh, for PS2, Jackson Dexter. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2 for PlayStation 2. Uh, Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles. Naruto Ultimate Ninja. Uh, Naruto. Uzumaki Chronicles 2, and Mario Kart for the Wii, but Sally, no manual. So all those games are paid about $1.99 to $2.99 for a piece for those, so not too shabby on that. So more thrift store finds. So what, just recent Monday, uh, one thrift store was having everything was 50% off, so all the games were either a dollar or dollar fifty. So this is what I picked up um, that at that sale uh, for PS2 Killzone. This is actually still brand new sealed. For PS3, Transformers, uh, War for Cybertron, uh, Need for Speed, uh, Most Wanted, this is for the PSP, Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, Lego Indiana Jones, Real Avenger on Xbox 360, Soul Calibur 2, a Tech and Tag Tournament, Pac-Man World 2, uh, Brutal Legend on Xbox 360, uh, Tomb Raider Anniversary, uh, Tomb, Raider, Tomb Raider to Angel of Darkness and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So yeah, I got those for really cheap. Now let's get to the yard sales. So uh, Saturday morning got to early start and people mentioned that they had a Wii for sale. I thought maybe they just spent some, some games, but when I got to the sale, they actually had a complete inbox Wii Black Bundle. And um, when I got there, I got there kind of early, and it was still dark. It was probably maybe like like 6.40 in the morning. The sale didn't start until 7. So I got there. There were some other people there, and there was a guy, I guess, apparently was looking for the same thing I was looking for. Well, this was right in front of his face. and didn't even know it. And he moved to the side. He was looking at the computer stuff. And when I picked this up, he was shocked because this was like right in front of his face. Um, this was only 40 bucks. And it's all complete, but it, it did come with a few extras. Um, I mean, of course, it came with um, the new Super Mario Brothers, which I'm going to show right here. It came with that. It also came with the uh, Wii Sports. Then it came with the, the Mario Galaxy soundtrack and another copy of Wii Sports, but there's no game on that, but that's okay because I got that spare game that had no case, so that worked out for that. So, yeah, cool, cool getting that for 40 bucks. And, and what's funny, a couple days later, I found another Wii system in the box. Now, fortunately, this one was not complete. It was missing the remote and the nunchuck, but it had all the other accessories. Oh, of course, it was missing the game, but I actually paid 30 for this one, so originally this was actually 60, but uh, I couldn't pass on that, so it's so actually, what are the odds of finding two of these in one week? Now, probably the best yard sale finds, which was right in my own neighborhood, so uh, this was post, someone posted that they were having a moving sale. They were very vague like what they had, but since it was in my neighborhood, I decided to go check it out. I actually was able to walk there like, within like five minutes from my street. So I got there, felt the first person there, and I was amazed by the selection of games that they had for sale, and prices were not too bad. Now, they wanted five bucks for a game, but what they had that was totally worth it and actually worked out a deal with them. So I asked them if I buy a bunch with a coming a good price and they did so this is what I picked up so for GameCube Legend of Zelda the Cluggers Edition um, sadly when I open this it's actually Twilight Princess but that's not too bad 
Legend of Zelda The Four Swords Adventures, something I've been looking for forever, and that is complete. Uh, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Old Door. Uh, Final Fantasy, uh, The Crystal Chronicles. Uh, Odama, this is actually in a GameStop case. Mario Party 5, another GameStop case. For PS2, Shadow of the Colossus. Wild Arms, Alter Code F, and this is still brand new sealed. This has never been opened. Uh, Metal Slug 4 and 5. RPG Maker 2. RPG Maker 3, and this is this again, this is another one that's still sealed. Uh, this is, what's that? Uh, Samurai, Samurai Legend Musashi. Original Xbox, Psychonauts. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. And Star Wars Battlefront. And so, original total I think was 70 for all these. I uh, worked out a deal, and so I got all that for 50, but that's not the end of it. So, uh, the person who I bought these from, I apparently used to work at GameStop, so they had some promo items for sale. So, I picked up this, this Legend of Zelda, uh, A Link Between Worlds uh, cardboard display. So I got this for two dollars. I mean, it's not too big. I got a spot for this, so yeah, I'm looking forward to putting this on display in my my little game section. And they also had some posters for sale as well. Hopefully, I get these in frame. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but that is for Bioshock, and this one's for Batman: Arkham Origins. I right, can see that. Got a couple more. So there's one for Paper Mario and the Thousand Year. Actually, no, it's actually no, that's for Paper Mario Sticker Star. And I grab one more. Yeah, this is a Legend of Zelda poster picked up. So all those were about a dollar each. So I think I spent up like $60 at that yard sale. And I can't complain. I really got some good stuff at that sale, and now it's all around my own neighborhood. But um, yeah, so it's kind of funny. I thought my yard sale season was over, but actually, this has been like the best month so far. So um, hope you enjoyed watching, and stay tuned for more of my finds.